Welcome back future medicos. In today's video, we are going to look at the top 10 medical colleges as per NIRF ranking. The NIRF, uh, which is the ranking framework by the central government has been released for the year 2022 on 15 July, 2022. So I'm going to look at the top medical colleges as per NIRF ranking. But however, I just want to give a caution that this may not be the perfect ranking because some of the top colleges, in my opinion, does not appear in the NIRF ranking. One example I would say is Armed Forces Medical College, Pune, because AFMC, in my opinion, should be in the top five medical colleges in any of the ranking within India. But that's my opinion. So I'm not sure whether AFMC has participated in the ranking or they did not participate in the ranking. Uh, so keep that in mind while most of the colleges in the top in the NIRF ranking should be fine, but also keep in mind that there may be colleges which might not have participated. They may be good colleges just because they are missing in NIRF ranking does not mean they are not good colleges, right? While you use this uh, judiciously, right? Don't uh, blindly follow this ranking, okay? Use this as one of the guidelines. With that, I will show you uh, the ranking now. Okay, now you are looking at the NIRF ranking 2022. They have listed 50 medical colleges. Of course, I'm not going to go through all of them. You can certainly go to the NIRF website and see all the colleges. I'm just going to look at the top 10, 15 colleges. Uh, and you also have to note that some of the colleges in the ranking uh, may not have UG programs. They may not be offering MBBS. So I'm going to filter out colleges that are off, that are not offering MBBS, okay? Uh, since this channel purely focuses on UG programs, so I'm going to filter out, okay? So I'm going to remove any college that is not offering MBBS. So now we have a list of medical colleges which offer MBBS, and we will see only those colleges. Uh, the number one college as usual is AIMS New Delhi, All India Institute of Medical Sciences New Delhi is at number one position. This is one of the college that consistently stays at number one. The second best college in India is CMC Velour or Christian Medical College Velour, which is located in Tamil Nadu. And this is again a college that consistently ranks in number two position or maybe sometimes in number third position. Okay. Generally, the fight for the second position is between CMC Velour and Armed Forces Medical College Pune. That's why I'm surprised that AFMC is not in the ranking. The third college is uh, Banaras Hindu University. Uh, this is actually a central university um, that's at number third position. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about within uh, colleges that are offering MBBS, even though its overall ranking is number five. I'm just considering within colleges that are offering MBBS, this is the third ranked college. Now, Jipmer Pondicherry, once again, uh, a central institute located at Pondicherry is ranked at number four. Amruta, uh, it is located in Kochi, even though the ranking would show it as Coimbatore. The university is based in Coimbatore, but the medical college itself is in Kochi. Uh, this is ranked at number five. This is a deemed university, okay? Amrita is a deemed university. Then another deemed university, which is KMC Manipal. Uh, this is located in Karnataka. This is ranked at number six. Okay. Amrita Kochi and KMC Manipal are deemed universities. Then uh, King George Medical University or KGMU Lucknow is at number seven. MMC or Madras Medical College, which is located in Chennai, is located at number eight. Then St. John's Medical College, Bangalore, which is a private self-financing college. Uh, there are two self-financing colleges in the top 10. Uh, Christian Medical College, Velour is a self-financing private medical college. And St. John's Medical College is also a self-financing private medical college. It is located at number nine. And then Sri Ramachandra Institute, which is a deemed university, uh, which is located in Chennai, this is ranked at number 10. So if you look at the top 10 medical colleges, there are two self-financing private medical colleges. 
there are three deemed universities the other five are government colleges then at number 11 uh, we have aims jodhpur at number 12 we have another deemed university dr d y patel pune then uh, at number 13 again we have a deemed university siksha o anusandan um the exact medical college is known as uh, institute of medical sciences and some hospital or ims and some uh, which is located in bhuvaneshwar in odisha this is ranked at number 13 then we have a government medical college from delhi which is vardhman mahavir medical college vmmc and safdarjung hospital this is at number 14 and then another deemed university which is srm institute which is located in chennai at number 15th position okay please don't confuse with srm medical college in trichy which is a private self financing college whereas here the deemed university is ranked at number 15 which is srm institute of science and technology so within the colleges that offer mbbs this is at number 15 though overall ranking it is at number 20 okay so these are the 15 colleges i wanted to talk about these are uh, good colleges uh, but take note that some colleges the fees will be higher uh, for example st johns the fee structure would be like uh, six six and a half lakhs per year uh, deemed universities uh, like for example amrita could be close to 18 19 lakhs per year um, uh, say ramachandra may be close to 25 lakhs per year so there are good colleges but look at the fee structure also uh, so don't just look at the ranking and then believe uh, that you want to go there because the fee structure may be very high unless uh, you want to afford that you want to go there i have no objection these are good colleges there is no doubt about it but uh, keep that in mind right they, they are not just common colleges there are some common colleges there are some self financing private medical colleges some deemed universities and some central universities are also there now even though cmc velur is a private self financing college their fee structure is very affordable um, their fee structure is about 50000 rupees per year uh, so it doesn't mean once again that it is a private self financing college then the fee structure will be very high okay so keep all these in mind uh, when you are making your choices during the counseling if you have still any questions you can leave your questions in the comments below i will try to address them thank you bye bye